So inserting Greek letters and scientific characters, well, it's, it's really a necessity in writing technical papers. And how do we do that in Microsoft Word? Well, on the Insert tab, to the far right in the Symbols tool group, we click on Symbol. And here's a list of some commonly used symbols, but a complete list is found here. Now, this Symbols tab contains all of the characters listed in this particular font group, which, by the way, right now is called Symbol. And notice in the case of the Symbols font group, we have the lowercase Greek characters, uppercase Greek characters, and many mathematical and logic symbols and arrows that are quite useful in writing technical papers. While we're visiting here, let's take a look. There are some other fonts that are useful. All the fonts that are available on your computer are listed here. One popular one is called Webdings. Webdings. So here we have a collection of symbols, some of which might be useful in certain writing. For example, here's the fast reverse, fast forward, first frame, last frame, pause, stop, etc. Another very useful one is called uh, wing dings. So here we have um, a variety of arrows and other useful symbols. Now, wing dings was so popular that they actually came out with a sequel to it. Actually, two sequels. There's wing dings 2, and we have wing dings 3. And then basically any of the characters in any of the font groups are available to insert here through this symbols window. I'm going to go back to the symbol group and let's say we wanted to insert the letter alpha into your workspace. Well you'd simply click on it. Here's alpha lowercase and say insert and then you can close your window and, and that works but it's not particularly efficient. So I'm going to delete that on Backspace and show you a quicker way to work this. If there are some symbols that you use on a regular basis, why not create some shortcut keys to do that? So let's go back to our symbol group. And I'm going to select the alpha character. And down here I'm going to click on Shortcut Key. Now in the Customize Keyboard dialog box, I see that there currently are no shortcut keys assigned to this. And I'm going to assign it the shortcut key Alt and 1. So I hold down the Alt key and press the 1 key. So anytime I press Alt 1, it will print the alpha character in my document. I chose Alt 1 because 1 is the first number and alpha is the first letter in the Greek alphabet. Now I need to assign that, so I click Assign and Close. and close. Alt 1. There it is. Now let's go back and let's create a few more at the same time. Let's go symbol, more symbols. How about the second Greek letter? Just to show you how easy this will be. So what I'm going to do here is actually create shortcut keys for the first five letters of the Greek alphabet. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon. And something that's easy for me to remember is the, are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's do that. So I'm going to choose beta, shortcut key, current key not assigned, let's assign it Alt 2. So simply hold down the Alt key and press 2 and say assign. I'll need to close this to go back to my main window. Alpha, beta, gamma is the third Greek letter, which is this symbol here, shortcut key, Let's assign that Alt 3, Assign, and Close. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta is the fourth Greek letter. Here it is, D, lowercase d, shortcut key. I'm going to assign it Alt 4, Assign. And finally, let's get Epsilon, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, fifth Greek letter, shortcut key, Alt, 5, and assign, and close, and close again. So here I've listed out what I've typed in, and just below that line, let's see how easy it is to type those in. 
here's Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, Alt 5. So very quickly, you can create customized shortcut keys for those scientific characters that you'll commonly use. I want to show you what would happen if you assign a keyboard shortcut to print a character, but the keyboard shortcut has already been assigned in Microsoft Word to some other command. What happens then? Well, let's take a look at that. Let's go open up the symbols dialog box again and say for sake of argument I want to assign a shortcut key for the Greek symbol pi. So I go to shortcut key and I would personally use alt P because it's easy to remember P for pi and I don't think there's any conflict but for sake of this example let's let's say we want to use control P and notice here it says that keystroke combination is currently assigned to print preview and print what happens if I go ahead and assign it my sequence will overwrite the previous one so now by saying assign and close and again close if I click control P on my document I get the pi symbol let's backspace that out now it may happen, happen at a later time that you decide well I wish I hadn't done that I'd like to have my control P for the actual use easy to fix go back into the symbols dialog box select that symbol again pi go to the shortcut key and it tells you that the current key is control P simply click on that and notice I can remove that assignment and close it and close it and by removing it I'll hit control P it now opens the print preview screen so I've reverted or reset my shortcut key before we leave symbols there's one more thing that's very useful I want to show you here on the symbol icon again notice at the bottom left corner we have this auto correct tab click on that the autocorrect dialog box go to the math autocorrect tab here you want to make sure that these two boxes are both selected you want to be able to use the math autocorrect symbols outside the math regions that is anywhere in the document and replacing text as you type in this list there are many useful symbols for technical papers and let's take a look at a few of them for example we wanted to write alpha before well we could use the backslash alpha command uh, the way this works and let's just show you these are already assigned so I'm gonna close this for right now all you have to do is hit the backslash key on the keyboard type in alpha pha that's easy to remember followed by a delimiter a delimiter is either a punctuation mark like a period or a question mark or exclamation mark or a space or an enter I'll put a space in and it converts it to alpha so there's a whole bunch of preset symbols that are available to us and many of them are easy to remember let's take a look at some more back to autocorrect math autocorrect tab some other ones that are look worth looking at here just for interest instead of creating a shortcut key for beta there's one right there do you ever use the delta symbol we use that a lot in science there's lowercase delta backslash delta and there's the uppercase delta how about a degree symbol it's backslash degree here's a degrees Fahrenheit is deg F degrees Celsius is deg C Uh, how about a not equal sign backslash NE easy to remember if you're doing any chemistry how about right arrow so backslash right arrow for a reaction symbol but even easier than that is backslash 2 which also gives me a right arrow backslash times gives me the times symbol here's plus minus without using the backslash is plus minus here's greater than or equal to less let's take a look at some of these 
So here's the greater than followed by the equal sign. I didn't even need the delimiter. How about less than equal to? Remember backslash NE was not equal to? How about the time sign? Backslash T-I-M-E-S, delimiter, times. So these are great time savers, which are well worth investing a small bit of time for a big return.